Typhoon Ulysses or Vamco, the Philippines' 21st tropical cyclone for 2020, began pummeling Luzon on November 11. Still reeling from Super Typhoon Roli, Goni, Baikol was the first to face Ulysses's wrath, as the typhoon triggered massive floods in parts of the region. Parts of Calabarzon and central Luzon are in Ulysses's path, as well. The densely populated capital region of Metro Manila, though not seen to be directly hit by the center of the typhoon, is also affected. Initial reports from the ground show that Typhoon Ulysses hit by coal harder than what everyone initially expected. The State Weather Bureau is expecting landfall over Palillo Islands Wednesday night as Typhoon Ulysses maintains strength. In its 8 p.m. update, the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Administration or PAGASA said Ulysses made a close approach in Calaguas Islands in Camarines Norte, while landfall over Palillo Islands is expected between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. It will then affect the northern portion of mainland Quezon between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. It is expected to slightly weaken, but will remain a typhoon as it crosses mainland Luzon and exit Philippine territory by Friday morning, it said. Signal number 3 is still hoisted over the southern portion of Guarino, the southern portion of Nueva Vizcaya, Pangasinan, Nueva Ecija, Aurora, Tarlac, Zamdils, Bataan, Pampanga, Bulacan, Metro Manila, Rizal, Cavite, Laguna, the northern and central portions of Quezon, including Palillo Islands, Batangas, Catanduanes, Camarines Norte, and the northern portion of Camarines Sur.